Welcome to episode two of Ugly Food. Actually, this is quite a nice looking avocado. Today, I am going to make avocado pudding. And I got two, uh, what's something on my avocado? I don't know what that is. I got two because they both feel good, but you never know if they're too soft. I think we're gonna gamble on this guy and leave this guy for later. But you have a couple of options for sweetener, obviously. This is honey. These are 85% dark chocolate squares. This is peanut butter, and this is optional. I would actually never eat this peanut butter because it has real sugar in it. You can use it if you want. You can also just use regular sugar. That's totally fine. Uh, I have in the past put in a spoonful of Adam's peanut butter, which doesn't have any sugar, but it will give you a peanut butter taste to your avocado pudding. Uh, a little teeny bit of salt. I'm just gonna put a dash of this in. This is also optional, pumpkin pie spice. Oh, and I got it on sale, so I don't know what the ingredients are. It's like allspice and ginger and a, a couple of things. So feel free to spice it any way you like, but this is a really good kind of all the flavors thing. What I'm going to use today is this little stevia packet. And this stevia is pure enough that it's still actually a green powder. So I'll show it to you after we get it in there. If you decide to use melted chocolate, you'll need a lot less of cocoa powder, baking cocoa. And I would suggest splurging a little bit on this. After using this baking cocoa, I tried to go back to just the Hershey's stuff and it was nasty. So either never try the better baking cocoa and just be happy with Hershey's or, or always invest in a slightly better one. This is just a little bit of milk that I put in the microwave so it's warm right now. Uh, I microwave like what is, I don't even know. Part of the point of this whole thing is we don't measure stuff. So it's that much milk, my hands this big. <laughs> this is a salt shaker. This is how big it is. Um, and I put this in the microwave for just like 30 seconds. So I'm gonna mush up this avocado. I don't have an avocado like scraper musher thing, so I need a knife to cut it, a spoon to scrape it out, and then a fork to mash it. So <laughs> we're gonna get all three of those dirty right now. Really fast, the trick I use to get the pit out, uh, I've seen this on the internet, you get a knife that's a lot sharper and you kind of stab it and then twist it. Since this is the Ugly Food series, and since I'm the only one who's going to be eating this, I'm gonna use my teeth. I don't go. Oh, and then you just spit that out and throw it in the trash. Um, so that's, um, I mean, we're real classy here. So if you really wanted to, you could throw this in something like a blender or a magic bullet and really, really get it creamy. Uh, that means more dishes and I'm already dirtying one, two, three, four, five things. And I don't like doing the dishes. Oh, I'll probably have to dirty another one if I decide to melt these. I'm gonna mash it for a little bit longer and then we'll start adding uh, some of the other ingredients. I'm gonna use my stevia and I don't mind quite bitter chocolate, so I'm probably only gonna use one of these. I don't know how much this is. It's this much. Is that like an ounce? I don't know. Let me see if I can get the glare off so you can see the brand. It says Luker, L-U-K-E-R but I'm sure something similar. I mean, you could also just use regular chocolate chips if you wanted to, you know, let's say like a little teeny handful. Um, the whole point is this is supposed to be a really easy chocolate pudding that you throw together for yourself. So I'll just do a little bit of salt. I'm actually not sure why we put salt in things um, that are supposed to be sweet. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I, I think it helps bring out the sweet flavor, but I'm not really sure. Oop. This is almost gone. It's gone. Oh, there's a little bit. I picked it up and it felt really light. I bought, like, this was on sale, which was so awesome because they're usually like $5 a piece, especially around Christmas time. So I found them in the bargain bin. There we go. And I think I bought like 10 of them. <laughs> so I have a lot of it. Um, but I also use a lot of it. Uh, I use it in a lot of little treats that I make for myself. Uh, so, depending on how you decide to sweeten this, you can call it keto friendly or not. And I decided what I'm going to do. I broke one of these off, so I'm going to use these three little squares. And I'm actually going to put them in my warm milk. And then I'm going to heat this up a little bit longer 
to get those to melt in. So one of the big challenges with this is to get the dry ingredients, because I'm gonna use uh, probably a good tablespoon of this baking cocoa. And I was trying to get the dry ingredients to really thoroughly mix in. And I've totally done that thing where like, I'll just put the cocoa powder on top and then I'll go to mix it and it will just poof up and cover everything in cocoa powder. And then I feel really smart because I did that. Actually, I've done it like 10 times. So we're gonna see if we can get that to not happen. Fortunately, I have to hold my camera with one hand or the other hand. So you don't get to see that part. You just get to see the after of all the steps and then mix these three things together. And you are so lucky you get to live another day. Ah, another day. Okay, I actually let it microwave a little bit too long. It was only like 20 seconds, but there's not a lot in here. So it's a little bit chunky, but that's okay. I'm gonna let this cool just a little bit while I put the baking cocoa in. Should we see if I can pull this off left-handed? and one-handed and how much of a mess I can make. Here we go. Oh, it's a little too much. Okay, that's like the same amount, but it's fine. Okay, let's just kind of stick that in there. I, I mean, this is a tablespoon. It's the kind of spoon I would put on the table. So I'm assuming that that scoop was about tablespoon size. So, yeah. If you want super accurate cooking and recipes, go somewhere else. Okay, so just kind of carefully string that in so I don't puff it up all over the place. Now for me, this is really, really stiff. Um, it's, it's almost a little too gooey. I like, well, there's, I don't know. Like you can see, I'm having a hard time. Maybe you can't see. Fabulous lighting is another thing that this channel is really good at. So I'm going to mix this in, and then also my stevia packet. I do want to say, I love these small spatulas. I actually call them spatulas because I'm going to end up eating this with this spatula, and it's so that I can get every little bit off the sides. You know how sometimes when you use a spoon, there's just like those little places you can't get, so you have to use your tongue. If you use a spatula, or a small spatula, as a spoon, you don't have that problem. I might need a little bit more milk, but we'll see. This is totally a go-by-feel thing. Like, if you get your all your ingredients together and it's too runny, put a little, I mean, you know, maybe you don't want to open a whole, what's that thing? Oh my goodness. Put a little bit more avocado in, maybe? Or maybe a little bit more baking cocoa? Or if you are using peanut butter as like a stiffener, you know, you just kind of go back and forth between wet and dry till you get the texture you want. Just be careful that you don't end up making like, you know, six bowls worth. So I probably didn't need this whole packet. It's this green stuff you can see right there. That's the stevia. Uh, Cause it's pretty strong. I mean, I probably could have made a double serving with just this one, especially after adding that 80% those little chunks of 80%, 85%, excuse me, cocoa powder. A little tip with this, it's so fine. If you do purchase it, make sure you tear off two sides. See, I tore off the top and, and the side and really work the packaging to get it out because I mean, there's a lot in there still. And these aren't super expensive for Stevia. They're extremely well priced for how high a quality they are. I mean, it's still green which fits right in with the avocado theme. Dang, sorry about the blur. If I get enough views on this and like ever make money on YouTube, I will buy a new camera. Maybe, I don't know. Hey, it's ugly food and sometimes it means ugly camera work. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna eat it with my spatula. I'm also using my spatula to thoroughly mix everything in. Sometimes it's hard to get all these little side things, but I will be able to do that really, really easily. I seriously own like eight of these of various sizes, but they're all small enough that the top is about the size of the bowl of a spoon. So they're perfect. Okay, there is my avocado pudding and I'm so excited to eat it with my spatula. If you want, you can put it in something pretty, like a pretty bowl or 
something and you could maybe put some whipped cream on top. I almost bought berries when I went to the store to get this avocado. These avocados, you just wait. Your turn's coming. Oh no, run away. Um, but you know, anything that you would put with chocolate, go ahead and put with this. I have also done a mint version. That just wouldn't have worked with the allspice, pumpkin spice stuff that I put in. Avocado pudding. And here I go, I'm gonna eat it. This is another project just in the works. This is clotted cream. So what I have is about an inch worth of cream in this small dish. I'm really sorry, I don't know how big that dish is. Um, here's my hand. And I have the oven on warm. This will sit in here for up to 14 hours. 12 hours is, is what they usually say on the internet. But this will sit here for 14 hours just because of when I put it in and when I'm going to wake up tomorrow. And then it cools and then you put it in the fridge for another 12 hours. So sometime next week, it is Thursday, I will get to enjoy clotted cream. In England they'll put it on a scone with jam, but I've actually used it as icing on a keto birthday cake. Um, it was just really good. It's like cream and butter mixed together. <laughs> if you came here for keto stuff, and I have done a lot of keto living in my lifetime, then this is a great little treat as long as you don't put uh, something sugary with it. I also have a video where I made clotted cream quite a while ago, but it was kind of a dumb video. Kind of like this one. Uh, yeah. But anyway, that's what's happening here.